y'all tuned into the motherfucking greatest. Uh, 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 uh. What is up, YouTube? Mark Kicks here with another video. Um, this is gonna be the last video of 2016. You know, I just wanted to kind of just wrap this year up. It was a good year, you know. All wins, all wins. But we got a pickup. This wasn't what the video is about. I'm gonna show you my most worn pairs of 2016 because I just it got to the point where some people you have so much shoes and like you don't wear a lot of them there's some shoes I probably didn't wear all of 2016 so I mean but there's still some you always have in rotation like you either don't care about how they look and you just can beat them up or I don't know they're just so fire you just want to keep wearing them and yeah this horribly packaged. Ooh. I did come in the finish line, Bob. It's an easy boost. Ooh. It's a my size easy boost. It's that black and white. Uh, no, I think I I can't remember when I bought these, but looks sweet. That's enough of that. That's nonsense. Okay, but the pairs I wore most in 2016, you know, it's a little chill. Cause I mean, we start off with them like Oreo fours. What they call these? Uh, the got the uh, Oreos. Let's call them that. Um, the leather on these is just so good and the shoe feels so good on foot. It's one of those where I can honestly just wear and just beat up and I put these on just whenever I'm going to like, you know, make a move or something. You know, some real chill, all black and beautiful leather, beautiful quality. I love this shoe. Jordan Brand did good with this one. So I wear these a lot. And I hope you're able to cop. And if you get a chance, you should definitely cop those. Probably second. It's something, you know, it's fire. It was on my top five list. But the model, obviously, Ultra Boost. And this is my favorite one I have. Other than my Pusha T's. Those will be most worn in 2017, trust me. But <laughs> these right here get a lot of wears. I mean, obviously, they're fire. And super comfortable. And you can't even tell I've worn them. Like, what the heck? I've worn these a lot. Look at the bottom. I'm about to sell these. Uh, who wants DS uh, Go Ultra Boots? But yeah, fire. I wear these constantly, all the time. Let me just stop the video at three. I have more pairs picked out, but that's just doing too much. The last one. You know, we had to do something easy, and I wear these a lot. I don't know what it is. They're not as comfortable to me. Well, I think the 350s are a lot more comfortable, but these kind of, they're just built weird. So it's like they run small and then you put them on and you got to take the insole out and then your foot's kind of touching the top of the shoe. And I don't know, but I wear these a lot. So they kind of stretched out and it feels a lot better now, but mm, I still think it looks cool. And I think it looks like it looks dope. It looks like what an easy should look like, you know, all obnoxiously. So, I really like this colorway, and yeah, I don't know, wear these a lot. Tell me what y'all most worn pairs are, cause you know, everybody changes, everybody, some people just strictly Nike, which is cool, like I talked to someone, uh, Prestos, Hirachis, Roche, like it's all Nike for them, which is totally dope. Some people all boost, like we're NMD, uh yeezy uh ultra boost and it's all boost so i just you know i just kind of want to see what you guys rocking with but you know it's been a good year for us um with the the channel gonna keep growing um we're gonna step outside the comfort zone and do a couple more things um y'all gonna see my attempt to get on the sneaker con uh dream uh what is it dream crew the i don't know uh crew kicks team because you know i mean if they want to strap and they want me to, and they want to win the game 
then I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm the only solution. And if you wanna win the game, well, we gonna see, well, we gonna see. But other than that, you know, Mark Kicks, I enjoy the fam. Go buy a Mark Kicks t-shirt. The giveaway is over on New Year's. I'm trying to tell you people, this is so easy and it's so, it's such an easy way to win an Apple Watch, it's not even funny. You, all you have to do is buy a t-shirt, you're in the raffle to win an Apple Watch. And t-shirt's 15 bucks, so if you want an Apple Watch for 15 bucks, you're litty. And really, not a lot of people have t-shirts, so uh, it's like, it'll be, the most it can be is 50 people. But I, it won't be 50 people, because I've given away a lot of t-shirts. <laughs> so, like 30 people, and you got a chance to win an Apple Watch. Bruh, all good, I'm telling you. But if you don't wanna to listen to me, don't win. I'm just trying to start out 2017 in a giving spirit because this is what it's gonna be. Everybody eats. I'm trying to tell you, everybody eats 2017. But that's what it is. Mark Kicks, I'm gonna hit you guys up next year. <laughs>